Hello everyone and welcome. My name is Vincent Schwenk and today I want to talk about how to create your own fake VR setup. So let's get started. So I came up with the idea to recreate something in cinema without using your glasses and that's what I did like quite a while ago with um, Oculus Medium. It was really fun to paint and to render this style but let's have a look at what we can do without it. So these are the renders I prepared for this tutorial and this is like a very organic shapes and it was really fun to play around with that but let's directly hop into cinema so i'm here at my base scene so if you don't know how to set up this stuff you can also check me out on patreon i will talk about all this in detail but let's directly get started so i won't need a sphere in here we will just need to start with a spline and i'm just randomly painting a spline here so drag it into my object and we need a displacer so let's drag the displacer into the spline and in the displacer I'll go to shader and I'll select noise and I'll click into the noise and increase the scale of my noise let's go into the displacer itself and increase the strength let's say 50 and I also want to displace it in the Z space what's the best we'll, we will go for XYZ world then we have a better displacement of everything and let's try to smooth out the spline, spline a bit more and therefore let's keep adaptive but let's go down to 0% angle and now the spline is all smooth and nice and to even be more procedural later I'll copy my first displacer and I'm also increasing again the, uh, the scale and I'm changing the seat. So now my spline is really very displaced and that helps us later to manipulate everything. So what we will need next, we will go and create a cylinder and the cylinder needs to be fairly small. So um, let's say 4 cm and 1 cm and as a next thing we will need to drag that into the cloner. And in the cloner we need to select object, nice. Then I'm dragging my spline into the cloner. So then let's have a look. First of all, in the cloner, we need an even distribution and we need way more than 10. So I would say 300. Then we will need another orientation from our cylinder. It's a Z orientation. And you can see now it's all wrapped up on the spline which is nice but I think we need more so let's go for 500 and I'm also activating a smooth rotation so that's nice then I will want to explain you a bit more what I have in mind you can see the splines I painted are often like having a thin edge there like um, scaling down so that's the first thing I want to do. So therefore I will give myself a plane effector. And in the plane effector I will scale everything down with minus 0.99 so it's nearly gone. And now I only want to affect the end of my spline and therefore I'll just create a box and roughly drag it into the center let's see something like that and then I can click into the box and remap everything and invert everything and I'm changing a bit of the inner offset and now I can scale it a little bit more down so the end is like kind of tapered cool that's the first thing then what will we go next we need another plane effector and this time I want to affect also the scale but in a positive way so let's say 4 and of course now I don't want the scale to happen everywhere so because if I look back you can see like I have some scale here or there or let's have a look at another render perhaps here you can see some huge blobs some smaller ones and yeah well also let's have a look at the reference which I did I added way more details into my style because I think it's nice so what we're gonna do for that 
I need another fall off in my plane factor. So I'll go into the plane factor and go into the fall off. Then I need a random field. And now it's the time to play around with your values. So you can play around with the noise, the scale, like everything to see what you will like. And that is what I will try to do. So well, let's first of all drop down the scale. Oh, well, I'll increase it double the size. And I will look for some noise which will give me a good variation. And Booyah is already kind of doing something nice. Well, that could be... Voronoi 3 could be nice as well. And you can just change the seed to see what's happening. And I think this is, for now, the way to go. Then what we need to create is a volume builder and a volume measure. And we just need to drag and drop the cloner into the volume builder and the builder into the measure. And of course our voxel size is way too big with 10 and I dropped it down to 1 and I think that's quite good but we can even reduce it let's say by 0.8 and we have our first organic blobs and shapes but we have to adjust a little bit first of all everything is too uh, harsh so we need some smoothing then we can play around with the smoothing to see what will work the best for us and I think already mean was really really good and I even think one more let's say mm, well like this could be fine then I will also add another smoothing the uh, smoothing deformer because he kind of makes everything a bit um, sharper at the edge I would say so let's increase our iterations to 20 and the stiffness it's like 15 and yeah I would say this already looks, looks quite interesting then you can also for example play around in the voxel range and you can do that by adding a dilate or erode and I would say first we erode and in our case now I want to erode negatively so let's say minus 1 or that's too much minus 0.5 so that is mostly it and then what I did you just have to copy your volume measure and press C to convert it and I'll put that outside of my hierarchy let's call that original or original and that's gonna be my composition so I'll call these guys blobs and for now I will hide the blobs and I can continue working on the original one so I created myself like five or six of these pieces and then I build a composition and now I can tell you what I meant with procedural workup for example you just have to select one displacer just change one seat here and it takes a bit to update yeah now we now we did it so everything totally changed now or you can of course play around as much as you want change some seeds in here or change the seed of the Voronoi or overall you can of course change the noise itself so let's see what we got there mm, well first of all perhaps let's also deactivate both of the um, volume builders so I can see it a bit better what I'm doing here let's perhaps increase the scale and well, let's change some other, perhaps Seamer could be nice. That looks really interesting. So let's, for example, change some values to see if it's just an updating problem. But overall, I also really like this kind of shape with these sharp edges. And I would say I like that. So I copy that, paste it. And I'm pressing C, convert it, put it into my blobs. And by the way, the smoothing the formula also needs to go into the blobs so we got that there as well and let's say for example I want to now just randomly change it a little bit from the look so I'll change just the seed in here and let's also try to give myself a few more uh, counts so I'll go to 600 and I'll change the seed of the noise and yeah that's pretty nice but let's even this place 
the object more. So I like that. Copy, paste, convert, put it into your composition file. And let's say we want to create one last guy. And therefore, let's have, just have a look at how we'll get different results with different noises. Let's say I want to go something more smooth. And this looks really also nice, very organic um, shape. And let's change the seed of our noise in the spline as well. And let's just say we will like this guy. So yeah, I would say this goes also actually really close to what I did back there in the Oculus painting time. So this style really goes very close to this style. And let's copy that, paste it, convert it, put it into your blobs. And one last thing I want to show you. Let's create a helix. Scale that down. And I want to increase the height a little bit. So, and the cool thing about this setup you can use any spline, so I just have to go into the cloner and instead of the spline, I'll drag the helix in here. And now we have to adjust the box as well. So drag the box into the helix. Nice. So you can see it is super adjustable and adaptable and procedural. So if you put for example the displacement into the helix we get something really nice or let's say we want to crank up the rotation let's say 2222 2202 wow that's crazy and just one displacement here is enough no displacement ah the box is too small scale the box up and one displacement. And what's happening now, we don't have enough um, objects. So if I deactivate the volume, you can see that my uh, cylinders are too spaced out. So let's make them first of all a bit bigger. So the gap is closed better and let's double the amount of counts. So, or more, let's go for 3000 and reactivate both again, the builder and the masher. And let's hope my system can handle that. Yep, that looks super nice. And now as a last thing before we um, convert that, I would say I want it to be thinner. So let's say minus two. And yeah, this is what I like. Press C for convert, copy the guy. I will leave the original setup here and i will upload the setup on my patreon so if you want to download the file you can go there and get it yourself and play around and for now i think that's it and thank you very much for watching and hear you soon bye bye